Hey everyone, this is John, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the watchdog of the MSP430 G2553 launchpad. So, what is the watchdog? Basically, a watchdog is a dog that comes around every so often and needs to be acknowledged. The watchdog is acknowledged, and the watchdog leaves. Then the watchdog comes back, and the watchdog needs to be acknowledged. You acknowledge the watchdog, and the watchdog leaves and the watchdog comes back, and the watchdog needs to be acknowledged. And if you don't acknowledge the watchdog, then the watchdog takes action. And that's basically what the watchdog does. So what does all that mean? So in this application that you see before you, I have the watchdog coming around every eight seconds. Um, but the watchdog is kind of like an invisible watchdog. You know, it's software. It's like a ninja watchdog. Um, and so to let me know when the watchdog's coming around, I have this LED blinking. When the LED blinks, I have a second to acknowledge the watchdog. So the watchdog leaves, then every so often the watchdog comes back and it needs to be acknowledged. I acknowledge the watchdog. How do you acknowledge the watchdog? Well, you can acknowledge it in software or you can acknowledge it in hardware. Now, if I acknowledge it in software, then you wouldn't be able to see anything in this video. So I choose to acknowledge it in hardware and I use this push button to acknowledge the watchdog. So the watchdog leaves, watchdog comes back, I acknowledge it with the push button, then the watchdog leaves, then the watchdog comes back, and I acknowledge it with the push button. And that's what happens. Now what happens if I don't acknowledge the watchdog? Well then the watchdog takes action. What kind of action? Well, the watchdog can take any kind of action, hardware action, or software action. By default, the watchdog, when it is not acknowledged, it resets uh, the system, which is like pushing this reset button, or like, like uh, putting this reset pin on the microcontroller. That's the default action that the watchdog takes. But you can have it do any kind of action. In my case, when the watchdog comes around, and it needs to be acknowledged. If I don't acknowledge it, what I have it do is put both of these lights on. Let, let, let everybody know this guy isn't acknowledging me. Um, and that's what I have it programmed to do. But you can have it really do anything. So what's the watchdog for? That's all great that it does that, but, but why does it do that? According to the user manual, it states that the watchdog is to ensure that your software program is running correctly. And it does that by coming around every so often and making sure the software is running OK. So as an example, like my finger is the software. So the software is working. It's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. Watchdog comes around. Acknowledge. It's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. Everything's fine. Watchdog comes around. Watchdog comes around. I acknowledge it. That means everything's OK. But what happens? if something bad happens to the software. The watchdog comes around, it isn't acknowledged, and then bam, it knows something's up, uh, and, then it, and then it cries bloody murder. And that's kind of the purpose of the software. And if it isn't acknowledged, like I said, in my case, I have it uh, set up these two lights, but you can really have it do anything. And by default, uh, the watchdog will, will reset the system and everything will come back to normal. So that was the watchdog. That's the blinky light. This is the video. I'm John. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to get back to them. Have a good one.